Let's talk about good habits. Hello everyone, it's great to see you again in today's video. You probably realized that our latest videos were more technical and this is why today I would like to go more into this lifestyle side and I would like to share with you some of the daily habits which improved my life, led me to be more productive, to have more energy for new things, for learning, to work much better and I would like to give you this. Let's start! So, the first very important thing I use every day is sleep. It's probably not a big mystery that 8 hours of sleep is a very good time of sleeping for a normal person. 7 hours is still fine, but the point is to not going to sleep at 12 at night, but to go to sleep to be able to wake up in the morning and not lose the first part of the day. You know, mornings are crazy productive and then we have the most, the best energy to do stuff, so it will be really wasting our precious time. Uh, if you don't remember, you should go sleep about, I don't know, 10 p.m. I have this great notification on my mobile when it rings me and says like I have their notification saying that uh, it's 20 minutes until I should go to sleep to have 8 hours of sleep every day. You know, technology is super great these days, so we should use it in a, in a good... to get a good goal, actually. Breakfast. We don't have a lot of time these days and sometimes we just wake up, take our bag and go out from, from our home to office, to school, to work, whatever. And it's a mistake because human body is something what works really great but it's need a good fuel as well. Since sometime I started to eat breakfast every day, like more healthy breakfast than grabbing a burger during going to work. And I don't know, you can eat porridge or scrambled eggs or some sandwich with uh, ham and a lot of vegetables. And to be honest, it gives me energy until lunch. I don't feel hungry and I can do and focus on much important stuff, much more important stuff than hunger and looking for some snacks in the office. So try try to wake up and eat a solid breakfast. It's really helpful and your body will pay you off, definitely. If we are in the body subject, training. Training is very important for me. I'm trying to do it like four times per week. I'm going to the gym, but if you have a possibility, you can go out and jogging if you prefer. And this is also great because if you can work out outside, you can take some oxygen and refresh yourself. But going to the gym gives me this happiness like after eating chocolate. And after that I'm full of energy, I can jump to my work and do stuff much better and be more happy, more friendly to people. So try it! water. We forget about drinking water and our body really needs it. Sometimes it's possible that you will feel dizzy, that you will have headache and all this can be caused by dehydration. Drinking water is... it should be like your daily habit. You should have the glass of water with you all the time or a bottle with water. And what I do and what I really recommend is to drink a glass of warm water with lemon every morning and to drink a glass of water before every meal. Then you will drink this water much more and you won't forget about this. 
Also, it's a great idea to grab a glass of water and have it on your desk all the time to be able to drink whenever you feel you need it. We spoke about the body, let's jump to our mind. Meditation is something that I started one year ago and I would miss it if I wouldn't, really. Our mind also needs some rest. It needs to come down and refresh and clean itself. So it's really great idea to it's really great idea to take a five minutes, ten minutes per day, sit down, sit down and come down for a second, clean your mind and you will see the difference. If you think that you are not able or you don't know how to start with meditation, there are some applications, mobile apps, which you can turn on and somebody, some calm voice will tell you what to do, how to breathe, what you should focus on. It's, it's really awesome. You should try it and check what's the difference between calm mind, which is fresh and can take a look on some stuff differently and when you're busy and you have this crazy thunderstorm in your head. Also, there are different types of meditations, so you can take productivity meditation or calm down or for a sleep, for example, if you have some issues with sleeping. But this is what I'm doing like almost every day and I'm very happy about this and it really improved my life. Another important thing that we forgot about is taking breaks. I realized some time ago that after sitting one hour in front of the computer, my mind is somewhere else, I don't think clearly, I'm feeling tired, my eyes are very very dry, so I decided to do some small like five minute breaks every hour. And during that time you can Go for a glass of water, which is up to point four. Or you can talk to your friend, or I don't know, you can go for a small walk, or I don't know, do whatever, whatever you prefer, maybe meditation. But you'll realize that after coming back from this small break, you feel like you just come to work and sit in front of your computer, or if you're learning, you can come back to your books or courses and feel the real difference. Emails. I started to check my emails twice per day and it's totally enough. You know, before when I got this notification that new email came, I used to take five to ten minutes to jump from what I'm doing to my mailbox respond for that email and focus back on what I was doing. And imagine that you got like 10 emails per, per day and you spent 10 minutes on every email. It's crazy waste of time. So I decided to turn on my emails in the morning, respond for the important ones and turn it off until the evening. And in the evening I'm doing the same. It takes me up to half an hour and it saves so much of my time, like, whoa! <laughs> reading. And reading before sleep, what's more important? Before I started to practice this, I was taking my mobile phone before sleeping and checking some social media or news some trashy stuff, you know, like probably a lot of us does. And I realized that it's not very easy to fall asleep and I'm more wake up when I'm taking a look at my mobile and on the screen. So I thought about switching to the books. And right now I'm able to get some really nice content from the book. I'm able to read about half an hour. So in one month I'm I have one additional book read, so it's pretty cool and I'm sleeping much, much faster.
music and headphones. What I started to do in work is using headphones and listening some productivity playlist. I have some favorites and I'm playing one of them. What's great? There are two advantages of this. First, if you have headphones, people are just more like going around you than coming to you and bothering you. Because you know, you are cut off from the environment, so somebody would would have to come to you and bother you like hey hey you to start talking to you and if not if it's not something important then what's the point right so nobody bothers you if you don't wish to and the second point is that if you will select the productivity playlist it will help you to cut off from everything what's happening around you and you will be able to focus on what's important for you right now. So your tasks and whatever you are doing will be done much, much faster. It's pretty cool, I think. Because you can decide when somebody can bother you. And the last habit I would like to share with you is a no-screen day. So, lately I realized that very often when I have a second or five minutes I'm grabbing my phone and just checking any social media or something else. Which was crazy, to be honest. And I heard a tip about non-screen day. Like, you select one day in... You should to, to select a day per week, but at the beginning it's fine if you select a day per month or per two weeks. And then you don't use TV, mobile, or your laptop, or anything, and you just spend some time differently. Uh, since I started to do it in my life, I realized that after a day like this, I'm coming fresh, and I have more ideas, I'm more productive, and to be honest, more happy, because the time I'm spending without the screens is really nice time with my friends, family, and it helps me. So, I really recommend you to try this because it's really, really nice in these days when we are using our screens all the time, actually. And well, that's it, I guess. Let me know if you like videos like this and if you would like to get more of it. If you like it, leave me a thumb up, leave us a comment and subscribe our channel. I hope we will see you in the next video. Bye!